In issue number 8 of the Darth Vader comic, there was a fascinating scene at the beginning of the issue. As we'll see, the first few pages seem to show Darth Sidious uncharacteristically stress the importance of not just restraint to his apprentice regarding the officers of the Empire, but also suggesting that Vader should attempt to pull back from his rage and not give in to his anger. Simply put, Sidious didn't want Vader to surrender to his fury, and he didn't allow him to kill any Imperial officer he wanted. Although these lessons might seem out of place for the Dark Lord of the Sith, they were perfectly in line with the thinking of Sidious as existed in Legends. In this video expose, I will explain why Sidious didn't allow Vader to kill any Imperial officer that he wanted, and describe why the scene from the canon Vader comic connected perfectly with the Dark Lord's views as existed in Legends. To briefly recap the scene from issue number 8 of the Vader comic, taking place in the early days of the Empire, the issue opens with Vader force choking a colonel in the Imperial hierarchy for the recent lack of performance within his division. However, Sidious implores Vader to release him and sends the colonel on his way while motivating him to show better results in the future. While it may seem that Sidious might be protecting his public image as Emperor in this exchange, we then have a fascinating lesson given from the Master to his apprentice. First, although he recognizes that the officers within the Imperial Navy and Army are lesser beings who deserve their contempt, Sidious makes it clear that a Sith Lord doesn't simply give in to these emotions. Showing that Vader couldn't kill every officer that made a slight infraction or didn't produce sufficient results, Sidious told Vader that he didn't wish to rule over a galaxy of the dead. Even more important, connected to this first lesson, Sidious also tells Vader that he shouldn't be so quick to surrender to his emotions. Although this was the true path to the great power of the dark side and the tools for the Sith, Sidious warned his apprentice that if he fell too deep into tapping into his hatred and rage, these emotions would come to dominate Vader, making him the tool of the dark side rather than the other way around. Although Sidious would allow Vader to unleash his wrath upon five officers in a subsequent issue, this action was really more on the side of appeasement and retaliation for an attempt on Vader's life rather than simply giving in to his emotions. Even then, Sidious made it abundantly clear that Tarkin was untouchable. So is the current canon really promoting a Sidious that believes the Sith shouldn't dominate over those who don't understand the Force, and more importantly, one who believes that Vader needs to pull back from his emotions of anger and hate? While it might seem out of line, I believe these views by the Dark Lord are deeply rooted and connect well with Sidious's beliefs as seen in Legends. Even there, it was made abundantly clear that Sidious and Vader simply couldn't unleash their strength and hatred on the, quote, lesser beings who comprised the Empire. In Legends, Sidious's writings in two important works entitled The Use of Bureaucrats and the Weakness of Inferiors show why Imperial officers had to be brought into the New Order and the reason they should be spared from the power of the Sith. There were certainly practical reasons for this restraint. Sidious knew the success of his new regime was directly tied to the support of the galaxy's corporate entities, the Senate, the Holonet and media branches, and the military. For Sidious, if the Empire lost the support of any one of these entities, his central authority would be undermined. But more than simply needing their support, he also believed it was the duty of the Sith, and thus his duty, to provide structure and order to those beneath them, so that they too could survive and thrive within the galaxy. Therefore, Sidious needed his best officers to obtain positions of power to better accomplish this goal. While it was natural that inferiors should be made to live in terror of being judged for their failures, he and Vader should show restraint in blindly subjecting the officers of the Empire to their rage and the power of the dark side. Even more important, and significantly tied in to why Sidious didn't allow Vader to simply kill those that reported every minor failure and indiscretion, he believed that he and Vader had to gain dominance over their anger and couldn't surrender themselves to their emotions. This might seem out of place for Sidious, especially how we've been recently discussing the Dark Lord's belief that anger was the true path to power. However, blind seething anger wasn't the true demonstration of a Sith Lord's unlocking the power of the dark side. 
While anger was the best catalyst to allow a Sith Lord to access the destructive power of the Force, it had to be combined with what he referred to as true calm, or control. Sidious believed that one of the Jedi Order's greatest failings was their belief that they had found peace and serenity over their anger. This arrogance was mocked by the Dark Lord, believing that because the Jedi never truly faced their anger, they had no idea whether they had overcome it. This wasn't so with the Sith. Differentiating themselves from the Jedi, a true Sith Lord tested the limits of their anger, not only to seek strength and power, but to achieve a state of true calm. A state whereby one pushes the limit of their anger and gains mastery over it. Therefore, for Sidious, a Sith Lord needed to combine great control, will, and intelligence with their proficiency for anger. This would allow them to achieve even greater power. True power was found when anger was watched over with the mind. A Sith who could control their anger would achieve greater power than one who blindly surrendered to their emotions, for then they could use their aggression with greater precision. In this way then, Vader force choking an officer for a disappointing result as seen in the current canon actually exhibited weakness and not the true power of the Sith. This scene within the ongoing Vader comic demonstrates a great connection with the former Legends material. Vader couldn't kill any Imperial officer he wanted because they were needed in order to uphold Sidious's authority and bring structure to the galaxy, and because he had to learn to utilize his anger, yes, but also test the limits of it and come through unscathed. So there we have it, why Sidious didn't allow Vader to kill any Imperial officer he wanted. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. And I want to give a huge thank you to our returning Patreon members this month. David A, Monkey House 143, Jared R, Kara B and Dustin S. If not for me, for lessons that go unlearned.